Well, hello friends, welcome back to the program. Today we are going to play Fix Me Roulette yet again. Uh, and if you're not familiar, this is the game where we get grep for um, Fix Me or To Do. Uh, and then somebody pointed out we also have lowercase Fix Me and some uh, function names in the code base. So let's include that as well. But uh, yeah, we're going to grip for all of this in the code base. Uh, and then pipe it to chef n1 so we get just one item. Uh, and then we will work on that item, hopefully resolve it, uh, but we'll see what we get. So today we're going to be doing kmalloc. Um, avoid redundantly scrubbing the memory in kmalloc. Okay. Oh, that's not the right file. Uh, kernel. Line 458. Okay, so what's this? In kcalloc, we say, fix me, avoid redundantly scrubbing the memory. In kmalloc. Uh huh. This was added by Daniel some time ago, earlier this year. All right, and Daniel said that uh, avoid double memory clearing of hash table buckets. Oh, wait, I think I know what this is. So um, kcalloc is like calloc from libc. Um, but what we do here is we just call kmalloc. And then because the, the the way that calloc is supposed to behave is that it's supposed to zero out the memory before returning it to the user uh, or to the caller, we have to memset it with zeros. But I think inside kmalloc, there is some kind of... Um, some kind of a scrub happening. So yeah, there's a memset in here, inside, deep inside kmalloc, the kmalloc implementation somewhere, there's a scrub happening. So when you use kcalloc in the kernel, uh, it will call kmalloc, allocate some memory, uh, and then kmalloc internally will like scrub that memory so that it's filled with bb. Um, and then um, once we get back out to kcalloc here, we will scrub it again with zeros. So there's a double scrub, basically, or double memset on memory allocated this way. And this is used by hash tables. So I should have a fair bit of it in the kernel. I guess we can, um, we can log here, maybe. Double scrubble. Let's just see how frequently this happens. Um, but I imagine that it would be quite often. Yes, look at all these double scrubbles. So we can definitely, definitely avoid work here. Um, okay, so I guess in order to solve this, we have to give us give ourselves a way for kmalloc to not scrub or either kmalloc without scrubbing or kmalloc with um, like where we provide the scrub byte, I guess that would also work. Uh, but we need to have some kind of API where we can tell it what to do with that. So kmalloc, kcalloc, this guy wants to call, it doesn't want to call kmalloc directly because that's not really good enough. Instead, let's call like, um, usually we call these something like impl. Um, I think that's what we do in libc. Yeah, in fact, in libc, as you can see here, it says caller will initialize memory. That's, an, that's a parameter that we pass. So you say caller will initialize memory, yes or no. And I think if you say that the caller will initialize the memory, then, um, then, then malloc in libc will not touch it. Uh, let's see how that goes. Yeah, right here. So if caller will initialize memory is no, then we memset with the scrub byte. So we basically just need to port this mechanism um, or implement this mechanism from libc malloc in the kernel malloc. So we can even call it the same thing, I guess. Uh, okay, malloc. Let's see. How do we do this? So this fella right here, caller will initialize memory. 
and the default is no. So the default behavior is that, or actually, you know what? Let's let's not have a default behavior, and then we will just implement kmalloc in terms of of that API. So um, kmalloc impl size caller will initialize no. Um, but here we will say caller will initialize yes. Yeah. Okay. So now, if we can get this working, then that memset uh, here will be the only memset. There, there will be no scrub if we do this right internally. Um, so that means that we have to pass this through. So I think we need to yoink this up a bit closer to the top here, let's say. Kmalloc impl. Right, so it will call kmalloc global allocate, which is, um, I guess we need to pass this stuff along. Caller will initialize memory. Okay. Um, So we just have to pass this in more places. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, the latest update of uh, C line just keeps complaining about more and more things that actually compile just fine. And starting to think I should maybe go back to the previous version, but uh, well, one thing at a time. Oh, this was not appropriate here. Mm, we probably should make it appropriate though. So subheap allocator. Um, what is an allocator? It's a heap. And the heap has an allocate function and that's where the mem set is. Okay, okay. So here, caller will, oh, now we're outside actually. Okay, let's just bring this over to the um, heap.h here. And we'll say kmalloc caller will initialize memory or something like that. That's, that's pretty good. Okay. And then uh, if Caller will initialize memory. So if not, or rather if um, it's caller will initialize memory, no. Right. And then that seems that seems okay. So then now I just need to change the name of that thing because I changed it to kmalloc caller. Right. Kmalloc impl. That can be static. Okay, so how do we check that this actually works? I guess we can print something here. Else. Skipping um, memset. Caller will take care of it. Let's see if we get some prints. I feel like this is pretty straightforward. It should just work. Yeah, skipping the mem set. I wonder how, how big these mem sets are, by the way. Let's uh, see. So it's chunks needed times chunk size. I'm doing the mem set. I had just out of curiosity. Oh, forgot to rebuild. But I think 
yeah, this should do the trick. So if we look at these, we're still doing mem sets, of course, but looky here. Here's like a 256 kilobyte mem set that we can just skip doing. Um, so previously we were doing it twice. That's a hefty mem set, actually. I wonder what we're doing in the kernel mem setting um, 256k. Hmm. Anyways, that's a <laughs> that's a problem for a whole other day. Um, but yeah, this is this is very neat. So let's get rid of that. Okay. I think I think this is basically the whole thing. Um, also, maybe the name came out of color will initialize memory. Maybe that was overkill. Maybe like the previous name was just fine. That was probably okay. Yeah, I mean, I like it. This <laughs> turned out to be very, very simple. But that's okay. Sometimes it has to be, sometimes it's going to be simple. Nothing wrong with that. So we got a quick episode today. But let's do a commit message here. So um, don't memset uh, allocation allocated memory twice in kcalloc. Uh, this patch adds a new um, adds a um, way to tell the um, adds a way to ask the allocator to skip. It's internal scrubbing memset operation. Um, before this change, kcalloc would um, scrub twice. Uh, once internally in kmalloc and then again in kcalloc. Uh, the new caller, uh, this is the same mechanism we already had in libc malloc brought over to um, the kernels, kernel heap allocator as well. Mm. One fix me uh, was removed during the filming of this commit. Uh, wait, no, that's, <laughs> that's not what you say. Um, this uh, solves uh, one fix me in k -calloc. Cool. I am mildly annoyed that I have three paragraphs in a row starting with this, but um, um, yeah, I'm annoyed enough that I'm going to do something about it. Because it, it's sort of, I don't know, it's unpleasant to read text where paragraphs start in the same way, or even sentences start with the same word over and over. It, it gets kind of tedious to read. So the same mechanism already existed in Lipsy malloc. Um, and this patch brings it over to the kernel heap allocator as well. Okay, slightly better. Cool. So <laughs> I think that's basically it for today's video. So uh, if you made it here, thanks for watching uh, and for hanging out. I hope that you saw something interesting. And I am certainly happy to, to get an easy fix me sometimes. Um, and it was a nice piece of progress. I mean, doing less work in a common allocation function is certainly nothing to uh, sneeze at. So uh, very, very good. Thanks for hanging out. I'll see you all next time on Fix Me Roulette or any of my other shows. <laughs> Bye.